you can easily import your data file and it will automatically display key data points on your map. Choose the map type from here or go to the setup option to fully personalize the map according to your preferences. A well-executed survey has the power to uncover insights that you can use to hone your strategy, shape your product, gauge customer satisfaction, and more. Although the template to immediately share your findings may arise, at times, sometimes it's better to pause and reflect. By taking time to find the story in your data, you may find a way to share your findings that is far more valuable than a bunch of jumbled stats and takeaways. Hello everyone, I'm Kyla from Vengage. In today's video, we'll explore how to visualize survey results using infographics. So let's begin. Creating an infographic compels you to represent the survey information in a manageable, digestible visual format that your audience can easily grasp. Visualizing survey data effectively means using different types of charts for different types of survey results, such as binary, rating scale, multiple choice, single choice, or demographic results. Let's discuss each of them. First, binary results. If your survey questions offer two binary options like yes or no, a pie chart is the simplest go-to option. This infographic uses a single pie slice to highlight the proportion of yes responses compared to no responses. Top tip, use a brighter, more saturated color for the yes responses and start the segment at 12 o'clock on the pie chart. If you wanna compare the response rates of multiple groups, skip the pies and go for a single bar chart. This bar chart makes it much easier to compare. Don't forget to label each bar with its percentage for clarity. Or forget about the extra notes and let the data speak for itself. Use this stacked bar chart, color-coded to contrast different responses and sorted for readability. Second, rating scale results. In a rating scale question, survey takers are offered a spectrum of possible answers and are asked to select an answer along that spectrum. This type of question is often found on customer satisfaction surveys, used to gain an understanding of customer sentiment about a product or service. These infographics come in handy to demonstrate rating scale results. Third, demographic results. If your survey collects information about respondents' demographics, such as age, gender, income level, and geographic location, Visualizing survey data on a map can be an engaging way to represent the results. And guess what? Vengage not only provides a diverse selection of map infographics, but also offers the option to customize these maps in hundreds of different ways. You can easily import your data file and it will automatically display key data points on your map. Choose the map type from here or go to the setup option to fully personalize the map according to your preferences. Fourth, open-ended questions. For open-ended questions, grouping the answers is essential, whether it's based on common keywords, sentiments, or another relevant factor. Word cloud infographics offer a swift and effective method for summarizing this type of qualitative data. They're great for audiences who don't have experience with data-heavy tables or statistical analysis, and they're easy to make. Just pick out the most frequently used keywords from the comments and plug them into our word cloud generator. And that wraps up our brief tutorial on visualizing survey results. Try creating your survey results using Vengage infographics for free. If you have any questions, feel free to ask below. Don't forget to follow us on social media and until next time, happy charting.